Assalamu alaikum beautiful people hope you guys are doing well having a great time today I am here with another exciting opportunity it's a fully funded uh, leadership program in South Korea so before starting this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go subscribe to my channel check all check all the recent videos I have uploaded you will find each and every exact opportunity you are looking for and uh, if you guys want to join us on Facebook you guys can join us on Facebook and if you guys want to follow us on a whatsapp group the link of that group will be given in the description below so <clears throat> As I said, it's a leadership program, so let me give some kind of introduction to this program. Call for applicants for the 2020 first G20 leadership program. It's a first G20 program, which means like this G20 global leadership program is introduced in 2020 for the first time. <clears throat> The fully funded leadership program will take place in Seoul, Seoul from uh, March 17th to uh, 27th, which is approximately 10 days. The intensive two weeks G20 leadership program will include an overview of Korea's development experience, development policies, G20 agenda issues such as uh, quality infrastructure, climate change, green growth, sustainable, this and that. Okay. We understand that each and every kind of conferences and programs does that. The G20 Global Leadership Program 2020 is co-hosted by the Ministry of Economics, Finance and Korea Institute, School of Public Policy and Management. The International Leadership Program also includes a field study tour to other parts of the Korean Peninsula in order to witness first ten Korea's development experiences. So, okay, so basically this program is to promote Korea if you guys understand that <coughs> uh, korean culture korea development korean economy and all those things kda school of public policy management was founded in 1997 okay that's history um the host country is south korea organization is this location is Seoul. Uh, program's duration is two weeks program days it is the short-term leadership program will be held from 17 to 27 uh, 2002 mainly in Seoul but also in various other location in Korea including uh, okay so there is some kind of mistake okay so you, you guys don't need to worry about that it's it's not 2002 it's 2020 <coughs> so each participant will be hosted by KDI school and the Korean government the programs will cover the following it's fully funded program so everything is covered all programs fees round trip round fair trips accommodation stipend okay if we talk about the eligibility criteria this is a leadership program they're not saying that they're not uh, obviously they're not requirement that you should hold uh, um, like uh, if you are a student or not if you're holding a degree or not that's an internship that's something else but in a leadership programs they basically want something else from you this program has been designed for experienced managers uh, practitioners decision makers in their respective organizations who will be working in some capacity as a leader change agent facilitator in promoting global development or on G20 agenda in the welcome of the applications from G20 countries and emerging countries both G20 and non-G20 countries what is G20 that's something else which I will explain it to you now uh, not now later at the forum when we'll complete the application each applicant should uh, possess okay so they want a work experience and which is a uh, minimum of three years of work experience if you have three years of work experience or if you can manage uh, something with that and you can like uh, come up with three years of experience um, obviously if you have graduated before three years or um, uh, or at the position of middle manager level in his current field strongly proficient in English and that's it so how you are supposed to apply you're supposed to click on this red link uh, red button I'm sorry uh, apply now when you click on that link this page will open up it's really simple it's just a Google form and uh, <coughs> So that's it. It's a Google form. You just need to write down your email address and just first of all click on next. 
and when you click on next the other page will come up okay we were talking about g20 countries the, the list of these 10 these countries are <clears throat> g20 countries so you have to search the name of your country in this uh, list and when you find found that list just click on the name i found mine and after doing that scroll down others means if not g20 these are the g20 members okay this is the this is the actual list of g20 i'm sorry <clears throat> so after doing that uh, just click on the title first name last name gender date of birth mobile number address okay just go next and that's it <clears throat> when you click on next uh, you are supposed to enter the education level or the degree you have okay so they have already explained how you are supposed to write the, your qualification so first of all you have to write like bachelor's in information technology this is mine so you can write bachelor's in computer science bachelor's in pharmacy whatever um, the date of graduation or the month of graduation after that uh, you are supposed to um, write the name of your university <clears throat> after doing that or you can just follow this is the, like the exactly the same way how you're supposed to write the qualification um, and date of your graduation and the con the name of the uh, university from where you have create graduated and after doing that you are supposed to write the details of your employer uh, the department job title employer address if you have some kind of website employers website you can write down the um, link of that website as well in the year you were first employed in the public sector and years of employment in the public sector current level of responsibility and okay so this is a, obviously a leadership program so they're looking for leaders they're looking for management middle management manager director senior these kind of things they're not looking for junior management and stuff uh, they, they might be looking for junior management but they obviously are not looking for the staff because they are looking for someone who leads some group of people or something like that <clears throat> And write, and write down the name of the, your company just like the same way as they have described right here and after doing that you have to mm, give a brief description of your career history till till today's date uh, and a, pra a paragraph or two paragraphs will be enough which will be describing each and everything in your career history how you ended up here how you're working what you have achieved what your current uh, goals are and some of these kind of things after doing that you just need to on the click on next <clears throat> And these are the questions which will make your uh, application really like kind of stand out from other applicants so you I want you to I want you to work really hard on these questions the first of the question says please briefly state why you are applying to this program <coughs> you have to convince them that why why you are applying to this program why you are interested in this program why this program will help you in your professional career in your growth in your like kind of self motivation and these kind of things you know so these are these are kind of questions which are uh, which makes you and these are kinds of the events which will make you a better person in the future uh, like uh, and this will affect the community where you live in this will affect the the group of people uh, who work under you so these are the kind of things which you need to consider really well before answering these questions if you talk about the second question please read the program by the degree of relevance to your work and briefly state why you and your organization might benefit from the program okay so first question was something else now the second question is you have to relate your degree your uh, education and your work and your organization put all these three together and answer the question that how um, like your education uh, like how you will be benefited you know, by your education <coughs> by your degree um, by your work and your organization how all these th all these things will get benefit from this program so 
come up with a professional kind of story don't come up with uh, like something something not professional does your current position allow for possible cooperation with Korea or KDI school if so please describe in what way also please oh, and attending the program will affect your ability to facilitate such cooperation between KDI school or Korea and you or your organization so this is it you are also uh, supposed to uh, answer this question very brilliantly i need to, uh, like it's a kind of advice to all of my viewers who are watching this videos um i am um, like uh, i have worked really hard for applying for these scholarships for many years now so in each of my video i take some time to answer these questions and I'm not exactly answering these questions because this will make things easy for you and nothing nothing is easy in this world my dear viewers I just want you to say that uh, these questions in every scholarship internship leadership program conferences these questions are the only thing which make your application brilliant I want you guys to work on answering these questions. I have wrote N N N four N's four N's just to fill up this criteria so that I can go next. You can write anything. You can even write N and your application with the, will be submitted. But the thing is these questions needed are are supposed to answer in a professional and a brilliant manner. After you do that I guarantee you, you will be selected for different opportunities. You just need to consider things professionally. Okay, you agree. Do you have a valid passport? Yes, passport number, passport expiry, full name, place of departure. They are actually talking about the name of the airport from where you are supposed to depart If you, in case you get selected. Do you have a valid official uh, service diplomatic passport? No. Do you have a uh, do you have a valid U visa? Yes, no, depends on you. Uh, please indicate how you heard about this program. You can also write down one name. Okay. And uh, after doing that, applicant f affiliated institution. Okay, institution interna uh, international organization for G20 Riyadh uh, Food and Agriculture. Okay, you're supposed to check out all this thing, all this uh, like options. If you find some of the option which is relevant to you or your country, then you have to click on that. If not, then just click on the knob the above. <coughs> As you can see, eligibility for additional points in the selection committee. So, recommendation letters. It's uh, recommendation letters if you are supposed to get the recommendation from wherever you think you can you just click on that and just if recommended by the government if recommended by gt program alumni then state more information right here and right here as well just click on next and after you click on next you're supposed to upload um, supporting documents which is identification photo copy of your passport your professional resume your proof of employment recommendation letter and next okay after doing that you are just supposed to click on i agree and submit there is no application fees no headache at all i wish you guys all the best and one more thing i want you to consider is that the last day is 26 of january which is almost three to four days from now so i want you guys to submit your application as soon as possible so that you can uh, come up uh, with this uh, application in a successful manner and uh, if you guys have any questions or difficulties you guys can contact me in the comment sections below and uh, it's my humble request guys I really need your support if you want me to work work hard or continue like the way I am and if you like my work please give me thumbs up share my videos with your friends and these things will really appreciate me to I like work more harder for you guys so thank you so much for watching and have a great day Allah Hafiz